structure to the topic for this one, we're going to be looking at creating a custom type composed of other types. The scenario is to store a person's information. For keeping it simple enough, we want to have the following pieces of information for each person. A name, some kind of ID, the age, uh, the person's COVID status. First thing would be to decide uh, the type of each variable. Name is going to be a bunch of characters, so a pointer to a character would do. Age is a number, so it's going to be an int. ID, let that as well be a pointer to a character. And for those of you getting confused, for now, just know that a character pointer can very well act as an array of characters and behave like a string. And for the statuses type, we know that it's, it can take any one of positive, negative, and untested values. We'll have an enumeration as its type. This enumeration was discussed in a previous video. We can club all of these related variables into one using a struct, which will make up our custom type. And the variables will now become the members of the struct. We can take a step further and define the type, which will allow us to declare variables of type person by typing person underscore t followed by the variable names. As a side note, we have an underscore t for the custom types to differentiate them from a variable name, as just writing person could be a bit confusing as it might seem like a generic name of a variable or something. I don't know if this is a standard that is supposed to be used or this convention is reserved, but from what I understand, it does make sense to have an underscore t. And custom types will mostly be colored the same way as variable names by most syntax highlighters in significantly adding to the confusion, if that matters. You can access the members of a struct variable using the dot notation and assign values to them. Or you could initialize them with this neater syntax. Now let's print out the struct values using printfs. ID is a string. I can access the ID member by saying variable.id. And since I know that it's a string, I'll use a percent %s. The same goes for a name. For the status though, I want to print a plus for positive, minus for negative, and x for not testing. The output would look something like this. We can clean things up a bit by moving this code into a function block, and let's call that function wrapper person, which can be used to print any variable of type person by calling it with the right variable. Actually, it's better to pass the address of a struct to evade from copying the whole struct into the function parameter. Now, our function will be taking a pointer to a person underscore t, and that way, I can also tell you about accessing the members from a pointer to a struct using this fancy hyphen greater than operator instead of a plain dot. It's just a syntactic sugar for dereferencing the pointer first and then accessing the member, so this is exactly the same as using the arrow operator. We can also declare an array of structs and deal with them this way. Uh, that is all for me for this one. Thanks for watching.